Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, version of an Emotep radiant oscillator. I've called this the Schlodo's SSG Emotep radiant oscillator because um, it's probably a simplified schoolgirl version of the original, um, which is just a, a simple system to light some uh, CFL lights. I first came across this project a couple of months ago. Um, it was first posted by Emho Teep, and um, I suggest you go check out his work on YouTube, find his YouTube channel, I think it's called Kozja. Um, and since then, people have been replicating this thing and coming up with all sorts of different variations and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> been following Lid Motors' work, um, the guys at Energetic Forums, Shan Ren, uh, Bodkins, there's a whole bunch of other guys, oh, Aramaz. Um, a whole bunch of other dudes that are getting into this thing. Um, basically, I wanted to show you my version of the the radiant oscillator. Which what you're going to need for this um, project is just a, a big heavy duty 12 volt battery. You probably even use smaller ones. Uh, I've got a 7.2 amp hour uh, lead acid battery here, um, and we need two of these 2N3055 power transistors. Um, you can get them at any electronics shop. Uh, that's these over here. Next thing you're going to need is a, an ignition coil. Um, I got this one on eBay for ten bucks. Uh, Fifteen dollars delivered. It's just a Bosch. Um, I think it's for a motorbike. I'm pretty sure you can just use car ones or motorbike ones. They're really cheap and easy to get. Just buy yourself a second-hand one. Um, now we need two CFLs, so these have been modified um, by just removing all the electrical circuitry that's inside them. Um, jump on Emotep's uh, YouTube channel to find out how to do that. Um, so that's them then down there. I know that doesn't really look like a CFL, it looks more, more like an inductor. The next thing I've got over here is uh, a 47 UF 200 volt elect electrolytic uh, cap capacitor so it's um, it only lets the voltage go one way through the circuit next thing I've got is just an earth wire so you can just simply run this you know run a wire put put a put a stake into the ground um, I've got this it's my green wire coming off here which actually just plugs into the center part of show you the center part of one of these plugs so that's the earth right there um, be really careful playing around with these things don't ever touch you know these two or else you're going to get electrocuted all right so what we want to do is we want to get this 12 volt battery to pulse 12 volts through this ignition coil um, which is going to give us a, a high voltage spike out of the the high tension lead coming out the top um, which is going to light up these CFLs um, okay, so the original Emotep version, again, used a, a relay, um, which was hooked up in self-oscillating mode, to, to basically switch on this circuit on and off really, really quickly. Okay, um, now what you'll notice here is there's no oscillating circuitry whatsoever. Now what I've found is the, you can, we can use the earth to, to, to basically run into the base of this 2N3055 power transistor and switch on this circuit. Um, so, I mean, the earth is, you know, it's an oscillating current. It's, it's, I think it runs at about 40 hertz, something like that. So, this is my oscillator right here. Um, so, what I've found is I use, I can disc, the system works by disconnecting this, this high tension lead off from the cap. Um, so you can, you can take that out and it'll work quite fine. Um, you're not going to get as, as, as much brightness here. Um, but basically the earth itself can oscillate this whole circuit and get it to work. Um, what else I've found is just by touching your finger on this base lead with this disconnected, we can get it to work as well. Um, now I know Bodkins has done something with something similar to this, I believe. Um, and he's used some sort of 
push starter or something like that. Um, what I'm doing is I'm using the earth as a, as a kick start. So we can disconnect this lead at the start, put the ground to this or the earth, get it oscillating, and then we can connect um, the high tension lead back to the base. Now once we've done that, we can then disconnect the earth and the system will run itself, just like that. Now, I've tried this a few times and it won't work without this little cap. So, the reason for this cap is, is to build up enough uh, voltage into here so that when we disconnect this, it can just keep feeding into the base, oscillate it, run through here like the CFLs and the system just regenerates itself, just keeps going over and over. So basically it's the, the oscillator is kick started by the earth and then it maintains itself by the, os the, natu the oscillations off the CFLs. Um, Alright, so I'll show you how that works. Okay, so I've got the positive terminal of the battery um, running through, yeah, this isn't on the, on the diagram but it's running through an amp meter. Uh, the red wires are going to the collector, as you can see here. Um, running through onto the positive side of the ignition coil, negative side's running back to the battery. Um, the high tension leads going into those yellow wires, running into the CFLs, back into the, um, the my 47 UF cap, back into the base of the transistor. Alright, so get it fired up. I'm going to remove these two. Now remember, this is the earth wire. Okay? Look at there. I'll bring these CFLs in so you can see. I'm just going to connect this earth wire to the base of the transistor. And we'll see it starts lighting. So, the oscillations from the earth are running through here, switching this circuit on. Um, now, it's not the best light, and you'll hear the frequency change as I touch this. Obviously, some sort of radiant energy coming out here because it's interacting with the human's natural frequency or something like that. I don't quite understand how it works. So now, if we plug the other end, of the CFLs back into the base here this thing's just going to go nuts so it's the earth that's oscillating this that's my oscillator, the earth now what I can do now is once this system's working as I said with this cap here stores up a bit of charge and allows it to run even when I've got the earth disconnected Okay, so now this is drawing just under 2 amps, uh, which is a little bit high for what I'd like. I'll just show you, with just the earth hooked up, it uses pretty much nothing. Um, barely registers. Probably about 100 milliamps, just running from the earth. Okay, that's interesting. I just heard a bit of a click and it's dropped down to about one and a half amps. Alright. There we go. So look at that. That's that's running off me as the oscillator. And this this side of the CFLs is disconnected. Look at that, I am the oscillator that's running this. So if you want to um, have a dabble with this Emotep Radiant Oscillator, I suggest you give it a crack. It's probably the simplest way you could do it. Um, you know, there's about $30, $40 worth of parts there. Probably the most expensive thing is that battery, which costs 20 bucks. Um, but just the ignition coil and the CFLs and the transistors cost you about 20 bucks, And you're off and going. Um, be really careful of touching this side. Um, we're dealing with you know hundreds to thousands of volts here, so I warn you, you can you can probably you can kill yourself.
Alright, see you next time.